Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Bear Beer Review. Uh, this time we are going to go to Good Old Landing and um, we're going to have the Chocolate Porter from Meantime Brewery who are based out in Greenwich I believe. Um, Stouts and Porters kind of originated in London anyway. Um, they're a very traditional and British drink, a very traditional British ale I should say um, that being classically made in London for, for many many years so this, this is kind of going to the home ground, the home ground of Porters and Stouts. Um, so I'm really excited about it. Uh, I've, I've been to the Meantime Brewery before um, in Greenwich and it was a fascinating place, hyper modern sort of facilities and it's a relatively new little joint. Uh, I had a fantastic tour and they're really really helpful in trying to teach people and tell you all about the brewing techniques and what goes on in, in a day to day brewer's life. It's a really fascinating place and I really recommend that you go have a look and go check it out if you're ever in London and around that way. Um, just a uh, note Look at that bowl! How cool is that bowl? It's literally just kind of like a wine bowl, and then they've just chopped off the bottom. Uh, and I love that. That's just a really quirky bowl. That is a really quirky bowl. Kind of a plain cap on it, but I'm liking the dark style, and it all fits into the bottle. It all fits in with the fact that it's a stout. Looks lovely. Um, it's a really nice bowl. Um, this this fella comes in at 6.5% uh, ABV, so it's a little bit stronger than your normal. Uh, and it says on the back, the natural mocha flavours of four different roasted malts are used to brew this rich, dark beer and are complemented by the addition of real chocolate during maturation. Warm, complex and smooth. It has a long, clean finish. An ideal dessert or digestive beer. It is also a superb match for game or stews. Beef stews. Um, I have none of the above, so we're just going to have this as a nice digestive beer. So without further ado, let's crack this further open. I've got a bottle of there. There we go. Crack it open and give it a shot at a good old traditional English porter. Ton of steam coming off the top there, and it's bubbled right the way up the neck. Can you see? Oops, maybe not. Can you see? Bubbled all the way up, almost came foaming over the top. That's a good sign. It's a good sign. Okay, I'm gonna pour it into a small up glass tonight. Give it a good glug. Let's see if we can't get a little bit ahead on it. There we go. That is a nice uh, one and a little bit ahead. Tan coloured head as well, nice big bubbles in it, but also some nice small ones as well, and it's kind of lacing, sticking to the sides of the glass quite well. Very, very dark in colour, as you'd expect from using four different types of roasted malt. Uh, is there some light coming through though? Because I can sort of see something. Very, 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 very small amount of amber light coming through, uh, just about, sorry, amber light, some very dark ruby red light coming through. So it's not, not completely pitch black, not completely pitch black. But that's okay. All right, pop my own nozzle in, give it a smell. Oh, that's quite an unusual smell actually. It might just be me, might be the bottle. Let me just clean the nose a little. Oh, it's a little bit of a, a sour note on the top of it. I hope that's not my glass, but uh, absolute massive, massive depth of, of chocolatey flavours. Really, really, really rich smelling. It does smell like you, you, you've you got a big chocolate cake in front of you and you're putting your face over it and you give it a good smell so all the chocolate icy. It smells remarkably sweet, deliciously chocolatey. It just smells like it's going to be really thick and viscous to drink. Oh man, that's wonderful. It really does smell absolutely glorious. I uh, can't really... Pick anything else out. I'm going to just try pouring a little bit into a different glass because this, there is a little bit of a sour note right on the edge, and I'm just hoping it's me not cleaning the glass properly rather than anything else. Yeah, yeah, it's me not cleaning the glass properly. It is. It's the glass is slightly dirty, probably. It was in the dishwasher, so it might have just got a bit of residue on it. Oh, how many smell in this? Oh, it absolutely does smell fantastic. There is also um. A little bit of fruitiness on it, a bit of dark fruit, um, something like figs. I'm more, more, more tempted to say blackberries and, and uh, plums actually. So there's a nice little bit of depth of flavour as well. Okay, to count that from one into the other, into a dirty glass, but well, that's fine. Okay, bottoms up, cheers guys. Oh, yummy! Oh! That's like eating a chocolate digestive biscuit. Absolutely wonderful. And I, I like chocolate digestives. 
They're not a boring biscuit, I don't care what you say. They're, they're the, the majestic stalwart biscuit that will get you through the day. It's absolutely thick and rich as anything. It's just a wonderful, wonderful, delicious and chunky mouthfeel. It really does feel chewy. People say, oh, it, gets, it has a chewy malt flavour quite a lot. This is a chewy malt flavour. just feels like you could just put your mouth in it and just get a good old, uh, good old chunk out of it. You just have a really deep chocolatey flavour at the back of your throat. All the way through every swallow, it's just cocoa and chocolate. And the dark fruits to a certain extent as well. There's a little fruity tone on it. A little fruity tone that kind of goes on when you're drinking it. And then there's a lovely, lovely residual bitterness that just kind of cascades and, and stays around on, on your palate for a nice, nice while afterwards. But it's very clean, very straight. There's chocolate and a little bit of bitterness and the bitterness is completely gone now and I just have a wonderful luscious chocolate flavour continuing on. Actually the more I taste it the more there is quite quite a I would say quite a plummy flavour as well, um, maybe figgy flavour, something like that. A real nice little fruity note. It adds a nice extra little character to the beer. So it, it's just you know it's not just a, a fantastic chocolate porter, which it is, but there's a little bit of a nice fruity note. They managed to balance such uh, you know four different types of roasted malt, roasted barley, are really gonna be the predominant flavour in the beer. But it's nice to see that they've, they've clearly tried to put a little bit of something extra in there to kind of push it past the point. Uh, you know, this, this, this is this. Uh, that mouth feels wonderful as well. It's so smooth. It feels like it could have been something on draft. And it's just such a nice, fine, and wonderful little carbonation on the tongue. And as you swallow it, you just feel it. It's lovely, lovely, smooth. Really feels creamy. Really, really feels creamy. And I mean, it, it kind of stands stands up against many of the other porters that I've tried, and a few that I've tried in reviews as well. And I've tried some really strong ones. That's so full on and punchy in flavour. This one, you know, obviously it won't because it, it just it hasn't had as much time to mature. It hasn't been in aged barrels or anything, as far as I know. Um, it's not 15% alcohol, so it's not gonna it's not gonna have like an extra little warmth, an extra little kick kick in the stomach, but it really holds up and the flavours are really strong and very vibrant. It's definitely not watery, it's definitely not like with the uh, rogue mocha porter that we had. Not so long ago, a couple of years ago, it just felt like it needed a little bit more. The mouthfeel was off. This is what happens when you get a good mouthfeel. Everything is just straight and punchy and great, and that's what you want in a style. You want something that's going to take your tongue and hug it, a nice, delicious warmth. And um, there's, there's a little nice little bit of an alcoholic warmth in the stomach, I shall say. It's definitely not a kick. It's definitely not a kick in the mouth. You're not going, oh, 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 strong alcohol and sweetness. It's uh, more in the belly. It's sitting nice and being nice and warm in my tummy. That's, uh, you know, it's really lovely, that. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, this meantime chocolate porter. Uh, you know, go out and try it. Go out and try it. Porter is... Porter is a London thing. It was that's where it's born. That's where it's cut its teeth. You'll have seen it in some of the Sherlock Holmes movies if you've been watching that, or in Ripper Street if you're from, if you live in England. You've been watching it on the BB, on the BBC. Um, I'm loving it. Really liking it. Really, really enjoying it. Go out, try it. Like, favorite, share, subscribe, all of the above. Be back in the next uh, couple of days with some uh, more fantastic beer reviews. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching once again. Ta.